Hakade, I am Second Lieutenant Rose Marie Munoz, and I live here, serve here, and train here. Currently, I am a second lieutenant here at the Guam Army National Guard, and I joined as a 12 November, which is a horizontal construction engineer, in March of 2018. From there, I moved on to the officer candidate program, and I was a commission through their pre-OCS program in August of 2019. One of the biggest factors of me joining the National Guard was I'm a teacher in my civilian side, so we collaborate with the uh, military services um, quite often. And with the Guam Army National Guard coming through and speaking with our students, it was something that was pitched to me and I felt like to break up with the monotony of my everyday teaching, the Guard offered me something a little bit more different and I joined the Guard later in life. This was something that I had always been in the back of my mind in my younger years. And at 34, I was already coming to a point where if I don't do it now, I would never have this as an opportunity later in my life. I joined the Guam Army National Guard at 34 years old. I didn't want my education not to count for anything. Being in the Guard has expanded so many opportunities for me. Uh, I got a chance to tap into another career and be able to, to thrive off of that. You know, I'm able to support my family, um, especially through the COVID pandemic. So many people were losing their jobs, but this provided a lot of opportunities for all of our guardsmen and women because we needed them. We needed them to help support our island when it came to the quarantine sites and just being present to keep our island safe. Naturally, I'd like to run, and it was just the easiest thing to do. You could pick up a pair of shoes and just and hit the pavement. I got more curious with other sports, but as time progressed, I started racing more and then building the love for the sport, and you just kind of get on this high, like, let's see if I could swim in faster, or let's see how well I can place at this race. It was all out of competitive fun and friendship, and this is how I got a little bit more excited about triathlon. I've actually traveled to Papua New Guinea. I've done half Ironman races in Saipan and many of our little uh, triathlons here on island which was amazing because the community was so welcoming and anytime that I needed help especially with my form or just becoming a little bit better in that particular event there was a, a good group of people who were there to assist. I feel like being a part of the triathlon community has helped to shape my fitness to prepare for some of the activities and the physical demands of being in the Guam Army National Guard. Now with the guard going into to their new um, Army Combat Fitness Test. I guess it encourages me to do a little bit more of the functional fitness that builds on the core strength that I need to become successful in all of the events within the triathlon. You know, I also like to give back in the sport or in any sport and give back to our community. And this leads me to coaching with Bishop. Sometimes I get my family involved in, in some of my events and they get to see what mom gets to do. And that's really the foundation of everything that I do, which is my children or, you know, and my family. In my civilian life, I am an educator and I've taught within the general ed classroom in high school. I've also been a special education teacher for students with visual impairments. But I teach at JP Torres, and we do have our Success Academy that provides another alternative for students who may have fallen behind in their high school career. And I help specifically with their transition, uh, their post-secondary education, and other opportunities for them after high school. So I am still in love with teaching. I am currently on orders now, but being on orders now allows me to just, you know, really hone into this new career that I am slowly building with the guard. I'm Second Lieutenant Rosemarie Munoz. I live here, serve here, and train here.